This is Sports Drive. Welcome back in Sports Drive, everybody. Joining us now is TPSN director Mike Roden for the TPSN Breakdown. The TPSN Breakdown. Well, Mike, playoff time is here again. We should make, there should be a song for it, you know? I like know. Christmas right. time, we could just replace Christmas with playoff. Playoff music. And, yeah, yeah, have a whole playoff, playoff times here, something, you know, because <laughs> it is playoff time for it girls is. basketball. Uh, if you want to go see a basketball game tonight, you really have your pick of the, the crop. Uh -huh. I'm you know, telling you. You can go see a bunch of different teams around the area playing right here in Amarillo. And you know what? We've got some really fun teams to follow. Yeah. I mean, we, not not just in the larger classifications, but you look across the Panhandle and South Plains area, and you know, there's it's a it's uh, we always have contenders to go to state in this part of Region One, and this year's no different. Um, right. Yeah. I was thinking. I was looking at Class Two A. Yeah. And good grief! I mean, you know, Farwell obviously is yeah. a threat to go. Uh, you've got Clarendon, Wellington, Panhandle, uh, Panhandle always uh, a threat. So, yeah. just in Class Two A alone, I mean, you've got some outstanding teams, and that's right. just a sample of the others. And you know, this is that that's a big one because obviously, uh, you know, we know how how those teams are going to i mean i think farwell last i checked i haven't checked the updated rankings farwell was third in the state Something like was that. fifth i mean all those teams were top 10 oh yeah you know it's and it's just amazing to see um the the level of competition there is at that level uh, so people have that to pick from if you're a wt wt fan you know uh one of the latest newest wt additions for next year will be in town braylon lesby playing for, right. for spearman uh they'll be at cap rock tonight at seven uh you know you got just plenty of games i mean uh, at canyon uh, floyd data and boys ranch are playing shallow water and dalhart at west plains um just just <laughs> plenty of, of opportunities to see a panhandle team take home a gold ball for the uh the host schools you know of those games like i mentioned west plains canyon they have some games too yes. uh, there's a little further but uh will people be able to to have uh, audio options on any of those games over on tpsn yes absolutely uh now keep in mind and people always ask this when we get to the postseason why don't you video stream it like you do in the regular season well if you want to give us put up the money you know five, five, <laughs> it's, it's well a, and that's price tag. that's part of it uh, yeah. but the uil owns yeah. the playoff rights right. and so they right. It, right, they we have to go through them, uh, and on the road, it's just a lot more difficult than it is uh, here uh, here at home locally right. during the regular season. So, uh, we do have audio streams, though. Uh, you can follow your teams, and uh, we've got great play-by-play -play broadcasters that have done it for many, many years, like yeah. Lucas Kinsey. He'll be doing Canyon tonight. Uh, you know, Bryce Sheets doing Randall uh, Girls. Also, uh, Amarillo High, Phil Woodall will be calling the Lady Sandy's action yeah. down in Brown field so yeah tpsnsports.com will will have you covered now i didn't mention west plains simply because uh we've got uh, a lot of games as you said yeah. we're stretched really thin we didn't get that one covered with a uh, a tpsn broadcast but i do know that the west plains game will be streamed live on the youtube channel of the team they're playing midland greenwood uh they're doing an academic uh, broadcast on youtube nice. which again is different uh and so uh they'll still be able to follow that and watch uh, west plains as well nice there we go that is that is good i do want to mention uh, you know it's great option for, for especially in the playoffs, you know, maybe regular season, uh, you know, you might be able to come out to the games, you know, you might have time in your schedule to go to the gym. Those are long drives, especially yes. on, on you know, w w nights where you're going to have to go to work the next day or, you know, all these <laughs> right. things. So the audio options uh, for fans of these teams uh, really come key for, for playoffs. Obviously, the biggest games of the year and the hardest ones to get to. So a uh, valuable resource for fans out there for sure. Yeah, I think so. And obviously, you know, we try to make it as easy as we can. You don't have to go to the website necessarily. Yeah. You can do that uh, to find the, the links to the games. But right. if you'll just download that TPSN app, yeah. Uh, it's right there uh, at your fingertips, and you don't have to search or scroll or put right. in a different site or anything. And so, yeah, we'll have uh, those games on uh, tonight. And that's in addition to our, uh, you know, uh, two teams tomorrow night, Tascosa and Caprock. Yeah. Uh, girls get the playoffs underway. And right. we've got soccer tonight. We've got soccer tomorrow night. And we've got boys basketball tomorrow night. So yeah. Powder Emerald High. PD Emerald High yeah. will be live streamed at TPSNSports.com, that district finale. A lot of stuff. I remember, you know, almost a little over a year ago 
now. Maybe it was November. I can't quite remember, but we were talking about the TPSN app la launching yes. for the first time. So now, you know, uh, obviously it's crazy to think it's already been up a year and everything. So people make sure to download that because it is a, a great way to just get the game right up on your phone uh, if you want to follow these teams during the playoffs. So it's going to be big. Uh, let me know what you make of this this 4A district because, you know, Lance and I were talking about a, a little bit of some things to watch. We focused on 5A because there's going to be a lot of fun between the Lubbock schools, the Amarillo schools, and, and especially in the girls' action. We saw what it was like last year. You know, we talked a little bit about that. But uh, on the girls' side in 4A, I mean, you look look at these teams that came. I mean, between Canyon, Randall, West Plains, you know, they've all beaten each other throughout mm -hmm. the course of the year. They've had great competitive games. Now that they're heading into the playoffs, what do you make of the fact that there has been so much parity between amongst themselves in the district? Do you think that helps or maybe hurts their chances in the postseason? I, I think coaches will tell you right up front that that is going to help. Uh, it's a playoff atmosphere. Anytime Canyon and Randall get together, or yeah. West Plains and Randall, or you know, take your pick. I mean, it's intense. It's uh, hard fought. It, it's uh, you know, fans getting into it. Yeah. The the opposition fans, you know, uh, getting into it with uh, you know their their teams. And so, yeah, it's it's great. And I was looking at the the first round pairings. Um, you know, I think Canyon, Randall, and West Plains. I think all yeah. three will win and win pretty handily. Yeah. Uh, now that's you know, it doesn't always work out like that. You know, Pampa may have some difficulty against a good Seminole team, but um, still, I wouldn't want to play either any of those top three out of yeah. that district anytime soon. So West Plains three three seed going up against yes. Midland Greenwood two seed. Right. Um, but you still think West Plains probably has a little bit of an edge there. I, I do. I mean, you look at. You know, and I'm sure Greenwood's played a, a, a tough non-district schedule, uh, but they have a sub-500 record, um, and I just I just have a hard time seeing the, uh, them playing uh, non-district opponents that really match up with the level of what a, a Randall or West Plains and a Canyon play. Yeah. Uh, because their schedules are always tough uh, uh, to prepare them for district, right. and then the district prepares them for the playoffs. So, yeah, I, I think West Plains has a good chance to, to win that game. I think what sticks out about West Plains is that, you know, they've always had a lot of talent on that team. You know, when you look through between you know, Ainsley Hall, DJ White, Piper Patterson, uh, you know, they've, they've had the pieces, uh, Anaya Kitchen, they've yeah. had the pieces there. They have good size, you know, they have good guard play. It was just kind of a matter of making all the pieces fit and yeah. finding that chemistry and finding the flow of playing together. You know, obviously there was the split last year and a lot of them, you know, came from Randall and they know each other, they played with each other growing up, but there's still something about getting the team together and these are the pieces now, this is who we need to play certain roles and people adjusting to their new roles and, and finding out how it all fits. It felt like some point midway through district play, they really figured all that out. And yeah. now, they obviously they beat a team like Randall who, would look like they had a, a shot at being the district champs. Yeah, uh, it says a lot that they were able to pull off that win. So you got to think they have a chance to make a little bit of a run. Here. I, I think so too. And and I saw West Plains in the non-district season. Yeah. Then I saw them again in district, and and it looked like two totally different teams yeah. for whatever reason. Now they were missing a couple of players. I think the night I saw them play that non-district game. But yeah, uh, yeah they just plugged into whatever uh, you know Kevin Richardson has been preaching, and they have just you know and everything was so. So new yeah. and so different last year right. it, 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 you know it, and we got spoiled by the other West Plains teams like the football team doing yeah. so well right, right out of the box right. uh, but but that doesn't cover up that it was difficult well they have definitely turned the corner feeling very comfortable this year it is true I mean when you look at volleyball football uh, even soccer you know the boys yeah. I, you know, everybody was doing so well but there there is a transitional period that that was going on there and uh, needed to be respected but um, those games obviously tbsnsports.com all we Week, people have the streaming schedule up for people to check yes. out any games that they want to mark on their calendar set a reminder to tune in for yeah and, and again the best way is to go to the uh, download the app and and it's all right there but yeah our website tpsnsports.com and don't forget you know as i said soccer tonight is tascosa and uh, caprock doubleheader 5 and 7 p.m tomorrow night pd amarillo high doubleheader 5 and 7 p.m and then uh, of course later this week it's amarillo college baseball which we've added and uh, have really enjoyed that so far this season so all right there at tpsn Absolutely. Thanks so much, Mike. We'll be right back with some WT Press Conference coverage when we return.